Brahman sir. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Your name, please. Sir, my name is Kush Motpandi. Thank you, sir. Speak a little loudly, Mr. Kush. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, my name is Kush Motwani. Okay, very nice. So, please tell us about yourself. <coughs> yes, sir. Sir, I'm currently, uh, my family is living in Navi, Mumbai. Uh, sir, I graduated uh, from the Electrical Engineering Department at IIT Bombay. Mm -hmm. With my master's specialization being Communications and Signal Processing. Mm -hmm. So, after that, I worked for about two and a half years at Xerox Research Center India. Mm. I was a part of the machine learning and optimization team and I worked on projects related to public service delivery. Uh, so after quitting my job, I started preparing for the civil services and I uh, got, I'm a part of the Indian Corporate Law Services mm -hmm. and uh, now I'm appearing Indian Corporate Law Services. Services? Yes, sir. Is it services or is it service? Yes, sir. Indian Corporate Law Services. Uh, service? Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, now I'm appearing for the examination again. And you have joined the ICLS? Yes, sir. When you got into it, how many marks you got in the UPSC for interview? Uh, so I got 201 <coughs> marks. 200? 201 marks in the interview. Oh, so written was not that good? Yes, sir. This time, I hope you have done well. Yes, sir, I have done better. Uh, in which company is your dad working? Uh, sir, he is working in Fat Pipe Networks. Uh, it is based in, uh, it is a company based out of US and it is working in the software defined networking domain. So he is what, he is a, he's a computer engineer, you know that? Uh, he is uh, an engineer, he is an electrical engineer and uh, before this he was with Reliance Communications okay. and before that he was with uh, Indian Telecom Services uh, in the government. Oh, I see. So he resigned and joined? Yes, sir. So you will follow the same path? Uh, no, sir. I uh, intend to serve in the civil services. Mm. Acha, tell me that yes, uh, you are from uh, Maharashtra. Yes, sir. Thane. Yes, sir. Tell us the demography of Thane, please. Sir, uh, so Thane, uh, sir, demography in, uh, sorry to, can I ask a clarification? It's about population, yes, about yes, sex ratio, about literacy, yes, sir. things like that. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, I'm not aware of the exact numbers, but I have a ballpark. <coughs> so but you had not heard this word earlier, <coughs> demographic? Sir, I have heard First time you heard it? No, sir, sir, I have heard this. Okay. Words. Okay, tell me that uh, you are <coughs> you are in that uh, public service and you said, of course, some electronics. This latest chat GBT the thing which is coming and the many versions are coming now, the yes, modern sir. versions and uh, their competitors also. Even China and all, as you know, have come about. Uh, but what are the disadvantages of this? Yes, sir. Sir, the disadvantages, firstly, is it will take away uh, the risk to employment if the skilling is not done. It will take away what? Employment oh. if uh, the reskilling is not done. Okay. Uh, but, sir, there are other disadvantages. Hmm. Uh, sir, one of the most prominent disadvantages, in my opinion, is the way uh, the algorithm works. Uh, so, it is based on generative adversarial networks. And they have a tendency to answer, uh, past research has shown that they have a tendency to answer in the same direction as which you are asking questions. So, if you ask a leading question, it will give an answer, it will find information to prove your answer. And if you ask the opposite question, it will find information. Okay. So what else? Tell yes, me the points, yes. some of the points. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, the next aspect is that uh, it can uh, lead to a vicious cycle in which uh, people are distracted from making real social interactions and instead conversing with chat no, GPT. That is with the otherwise also yes, with mobile and social media. No, what about else? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, so, so, sir, if I can, if I may clarify, I meant uh, in social media at least it is with different people, but in chat GPT now pe many people are just having conversation and in fact this also led to a suicide in uh, Sweden a few uh, okay. last to last. What time. else? Sir, the ne uh, next aspect is with respect to regulation and… Uh, no, we don't know, yes. we are talking of disadvantages. Okay, yes, please tell me the, give us an overview of the energy sector of India. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I'll break it down into two parts. First is the electricity. 
second is the non electricity energy that is consumed di uh, directly uh, sir with respect to electricity uh, we have made significant advancements in terms of uh, installed capacity towards renewables and all 39 between 39 and 41 percent now is coming from renewables but this is not used full time so actually the electricity that is consumed <coughs> from renewables is only about 23 percent uh, majority is coal uh, next is hydropower hydropower and solar are now about 12 percent each wind is about 11 percent nuclear is about 3 <coughs> percent and uh, electricity uh, the number of average no, hours so yes, fine yes, then sir. what next so the non electricity aspect uh, yes sir in electricity uh, one aspect is the average number of supply hours electricity is supplied and the electrification we have made significant progress a third aspect in electricity is related to uh, the functioning of the generation and the distribution sector and in distribution discoms are under financial stress uh, the second part of the answer the non electricity like iron and steel plants fertilizer industry they use raw materials such as coal and natural gas directly so there uh, we have still have a long way to go towards uh, decarbonizing uh, that space and in that a component is also uh, but should tell me is, what uh, happened in punjab you know punjab was in big news you know major incident yes sir tell me what happened and what's happening what is the present situation yes sir uh, sir the incident uh, if i may is referring to is the uh, amritpal singh Correct, incident yeah. wherein mm. uh, his he and his supporters they went into a police station and they uh, got one of their uh, fellow members uh, released from the police station yes sir okay and uh, after that uh, that was criticized uh, significantly and then after that uh, uh, the police uh, in the state police in coordination with the home ministry has launched a uh, sort no, of no, but yes, that sir. day when he went and attacked the police station yes sir why police took no action according to you uh, yes sir uh sir so it was sort of disguised as a uh, peaceful protest wherein uh, the people no, do you have seen the videos do you have seen the yes, videos sir. yes sir so the people were it carrying was, the peaceful yeah yes sir so the people were carrying the guru granth sahib ji mm. and uh, apart from that if the police had taken action then it might also have had uh, so yes sir the, okay then uh, so uh, police could have taken action that night next day also yes sir to so police failed yes sir uh, it is uh, it is somewhat a failure in terms of the delay in the action that has been taken and I then they could not arrest him from the road was that also failure uh, yes sir uh, that would also be an intelligence so failure so please is not working or the hands in glove uh, sir it would be unfair to say that uh, maybe some uh, because they have been trying and uh, most of many of the aids so of what the is fair to say then <coughs> give me a statement which says you think is fair in this matter uh, yes sir sir in this matter they have uh, not performed efficiently or not performed professionally and they should take the learning so that some such so you are saying the same thing then what i was saying sorry sir is my last question is media free and responsible in india uh, yes sir it uh, is so oh. sir sir uh, sir media is uh, free in india uh, free is a subjective but to the extent that uh, sir it is uh, to the extent that media wishes to report about incidents it is free uh, and to the extent uh, of responsibility sir it depends also on the type of media for example if we look at uh, published newspapers they are i would say responsible both in terms of the uh, content that they are covering and how they are covering it and also they are free in the sense that they cover all the wide variety of topics that might be happening but uh, in specific <coughs> locations there are restrictions on freedom uh, for example in no, 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 yes, you are good talking you are talking all good good things yes sir media uh, is biased yes sir there is uh, fake news yes sir misinformation having different ideologies very strongly believing Why yes, are you feeling shy of saying all this, uh, sir? I was about to come to that. Uh, kind of when then? When? Sorry, sir. Yeah, I ask you straight away. Sorry, sir. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Kush, you are progressing from uh, IIT Mumbai, yes, sir. Electrical Engineering, to Assistant Director, Corporate Affairs. Yes, sir. What do you feel about it? Uh, you were destined to do machine learning, Chat GPT, and successors. Yes, sir. And you are now an assistant director. 
Yes, sir. The corporate affairs. You don't feel uh, bad about it? No, sir. I don't feel bad about it. I IIT feel Mumbai. You are an IITian. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I feel there is significant potential for applying what I have learned wherever I am. In That's fact, all right. In Manabhi, every area, there is significant potential. Yes, but in your core competency, yes, sir. Compared to that. Sir, <coughs> I quit my job uh, knowing fully well that I want to become a civil servant. Why did you quit the job? Uh, yes, sir. You sir, didn't find job satisfaction or what? Sir, I was uh, very in enjoying my job very much. However, uh, for example, some problems that I was working on, uh, one project that I was working on was related to public transportation for a regional transportation authority of France. Uh, another project that I was working on was related to crime data analytics for the Colorado and Denver police department. So I, I felt, I, while I enjoyed it very much, I felt deep desire to work on such problems in an Indian context. And that is the motivation uh, for quitting the job and applying for civil which services. Which you were working in? Sir, I was uh, with uh, Xerox Research Center India, which is part of the conduit. Uh, oh, okay. conduit uh, carry on. Yes. So with your uh, engineering skills, yes, how would you reform traffic in India? Yes, sir. Bombay is still better. Yes, sir. But you look at other cities. Total chaos, no yes, respect sir. of the law, no fear of the law. Yes, sir. <coughs> uh, sir, there are two sides to this. One is uh, the human side, which is that people don't follow uh, the civil, uh, the traffic rules and so on. They go on the wrong side and lean discipline. So towards that, uh, the work is with respect to enforcing better enforcement by the uh, traffic police, as well as awareness about the same. Uh, the other aspect is what the state can do with respect to providing infrastructure wherein the uh, problem of traffic decreases. And this is more of a medium term to long term thing. Herein, uh, the planning of the road network within the city, the planning of the how the city is connected to the uh, satellite towns, as well as the planning of the public transport, they have to happen together. Uh, to give an example, Mumbai is connected to lots of satellite towns. Is this not happening, whatever you are saying? Sir, it is not happening because, uh, for example, different agencies are involved in planning the local road networks, in planning the highways which I'm connect. I'm sure they are coordinating. Uh, yes. Sir, uh, they have, they co do coordinate in some ways, but most of the time it is ad hoc. Uh, to give an example, I, where I stay, no, that what is. What would you do? Yes, sir. The question was that. How yes, would you reform? Yes, sir. Traffic, you are explaining, giving me an introduction of. Yes, sir. Two aspects to the problem. Yes, sir. What would you do? So to reform it, uh, the first thing is to bring all the people who are involved, all the agencies and the actors who are involved in planning on one platform and to make sure that there is a unified data source available to all of them so that they can uh, take their steps accordingly. The second thing is to ensure that uh, the coordination for work, uh, there is no overlap in terms of work. For example, if... Very theoretical, I'm afraid, Mr. Kush. Uh, yes, Some sir. practical suggestions on, for example, people not obeying the law, fear of law. Yes, sir. Jumping lights. Yes, sir. Lane, uh, lane, no lane discipline. Yes, sir. How would you address that? Basic fact. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, with respect to this, this part, <coughs> uh, the first thing is for better implementation, uh, use of via humans, uh, such as via the traffic policemen, as well as via the use of cameras. For example, Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation has generated last year 46 crore of revenue via automatic challans. And this is a model that can be implemented in a lot of other places. The second is the positive side to it, wherein via awareness and via uh, positive signals, people can be made to realize the importance of lane discipline and so on. This will not only lead to better traffic, but it will also make the roads safer. Is it so simple? Sir, it's not simple, but it, once it is started, it may create a virtuous cycle. And okay. yes, Tell me about corruption in the corporate sector. Is it more than in the government or less? Sir, in some sectors it is definitely more based on the reports that I have come across. For example, in the real estate sector, there is significant uh, I'm corruption. I am asking a generic yes, question. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, in general, it depends on the extent of professional management. In professionally managed companies, it is less. You are answering the question. Is it more or is it less? Sir, it is less because uh, as... With My view is that yes, because sir. the motive is profit. Yes, sir. The corporate will do anything yes, sir. to generate profits. So corruption is more. It is a greater evil. And there is no accountability because the management says go do anything. Sir, I would humbly disagree with it. Uh, this is because there is accountability and transparency in the sense that the management is forced to make disclosures about uh, more than hundreds of different things. And uh, for example, there is something called price sensitive information. 
and SEBI requires all the listed companies to not only make a list of the price sensitive information, but for every price sensitive information also make a list of who all are the people who have We're access to that. talking corruption. Yes, sir. Cross corruption at yes, the ground sir. level. Yes, sir. Private sector employees going, bribing people. Yes, sir. We're not talking of SEBI, we're not talking of high flying yes, things. The yes, common sir. man gets it. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, even in the common man, uh, there is even for small companies, there is accountability. It is increasing. Okay, my last yes, question sir. to you, Mr. Kosh. Yes, sir. You like reading fantasy fiction. Yes, sir. What is your ultimate fantasy? Sir. You've read so much yes, fantasy sir. fiction. Yes, sir. Sir, my aim, uh, my ambition at this moment was to become a successful officer. Uh, sir, beyond that... Is that a fantasy? Sir, that is not a fantasy. And I don't have an ultimate fantasy. Thank if you. I may. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Mr. Kush Motwani. Yes, Kush, uh, you carry a historical name. Yes, sir. Or a mythological name. Yes, sir. Tell us something about the original Kush. Uh, sir, original Kush uh, was the son of Ram Bhagwan, and uh, he had a twin uh, love, mm. and. Uh, Yes, sir. They uh, they were nurtured. Uh, they they were when they grew up. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, their father was not there for him when mm. when they were growing up. Mm. And uh, later, they encountered their father who, during. Who was older of the two? Who was the? Who was elder? Sir, love was elder. Kush was elder. Sorry, sir. And I they were twins. Yes, sir. But Kush was born before love. Okay, and uh, Thank you, sir. they are described in the Balmiki Ramayan. Yes, and, sir. Uh, they are, how, what is the description of the two brothers? Uh, sorry, sir, I have not read the description. Go, go, go home and read it. Out. Thank you, sir. If you carry your name, you should be able to yes, know, sir. think about it. Yes, sir. While answering a question of my colleague, you mentioned SEBI. Yes, sir. I put it to you that uh, SEBI and other regulators failed in their duty in the Adani Hindenburg uh, case. Your comment and analysis. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, there are broadly two sets of allegations where SEBI had to play a part. One is related <coughs> to ownership, uh, beneficial ownership and public ownership, which is minimum 25% by the public, 75% max by the promoter. And the second is related party transactions. Uh, sir, if the allegations related to related party transactions are true, then yes, I would say that it is a failure not just of SEBI but also of the Registrar of Companies which also has jurisdiction over related party transactions, Section 186 of Companies Act. Uh, however, sir, with respect to uh, beneficial ownership and the allegation that the promoter group owns beyond 75% via certain shell companies, I would not call it a failure of SEBI as this is not, uh, if, if it is true, it is not specific to Adani. Uh, over the past 25 years, uh, we have seen various instances where shell companies hold uh, assets in Indian, Indian listed companies which, as well which as other company assets. was stopped from trading recently yes, sir. on the charge that they are holding more than 75% uh, ownership. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, this is uh, the Patanjali group. Right, Patanjali, yes, yeah, sure. Sir. Yes, carry on on the, yes, the Adani thing. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. sir, in case of violation of ownership, beneficial ownership norms via because of foreign shell company holding that allegation, I would not uh, hold SEBI responsible as this is not a SEBI problem, this is a nationwide problem. Uh, successive finance ministers have taken steps to address it and they still have not been completely successful. Mm. Uh, so, this is something to resolve this, it is something that requires the coordination <coughs> of various levels including the highest level of government. So for related party transactions, yes. For ownership no, norms, no. But they're saying that you know Mauritius has a GDP of 20 billion dollars, and uh, there is an investment of 250 billion dollars from <laughs> Mauritius into Indian uh, companies. Sir, I'm not aware of the exact numbers, but yes, there is significant investment from mm. uh, companies, uh, shell companies or letterbox companies mm. uh, in Mauritius. So what is your take on the Hindenburg uh, allegations? Yes, sir. Sir, I've gone. I've read the entire report. Broadly, there are five parts to the report. The first part is on what has happened in the past. I don't think that's relevant anymore because it starts with what happened in 2003, 2004, and so on. Right. The second part is with respect to the foreign ownership. Uh, sir, it's not uh, the allegations that they made. They are not new. They have been around in the news since a long time. 
and uh, as i said it's not a sebi specific thing it is something that all the authorities of the government have to look at together the third is related party transactions and those in my personal opinion are the most serious and uh, they need to be looked at seriously because uh, for example apart from that apart from the adani hindenburg hindenburg report there was another report which said that adani power gave a loan to one of its subsidiaries at 0% interest mm. and it did not disclose it mm. uh, not giving a loan is not the issue not disclosing it is the issue mm. the fourth part is related to tax evasion and uh, it is related to uh, base uh, changing the base with respect to paying taxes and so on all right yes, you think adani is a beneficiary of uh, crony capitalism sir uh, i don't think so i think that the work that they have done with respect to the port assets that they acquired that is uh, state that is the state of the art, uh, art in the world in fact that is the only port in india which offers guarantees with respect to what is the turnaround time and it is the only port in india not just in india but in southeast asia which not only gives that guarantee it also says that if you are not able to do this we will refund the money for you mm. so the uh, scaling up of their ports business that they have done they have done based on do you uh, expertise think adani is the victim in this whole saga no sir i don't think he is a victim also mm. uh, i look at it differently uh, the market uh, capitalization of the adani group of companies has increased exponentially in the past few years and everything that okay, you you, you yes, notice that adani was not able to because of the hindenburg report adani ipo was not uh, yes, ipo was not fully subscribed <coughs> yes sir when the last <coughs> minute uh, 20000 crore was invested into it and it became fully subscribed yes sir So somebody asked the SEBI for information. Okay, who yes, was the who contributed to the twenty thousand crores? Yes, sir. So SEBI says sorry, we we can't give the information. Yes, sir. Is that right? Uh, sir, if they had gone ahead with the FPO, then they would have been bound to disclose that information. Mm -hmm. However, Adani, the group itself, withdrew that FPO. Mm -hmm. So in that case, there is no provision for disclosing uh, who sort of subscribed right. to it. Fine. Right. Yes, sir. Kush, uh, as a young Indian. Yes, sir. Uh, what you look around yourself yes, what fills you with optimism about the future of the country and and what is the cause for pessimism if any yes, sir. Uh, sir the thing that fills me most with optimism is the pace of digitization and the india stack so called india stack that we have built mm -hmm. and uh, if i may give an anecdote uh, recently i was drinking tea in the market near mane sir and that person did not accept cash he said i will accept only upi because the amount of time it takes me to give you back the change in that time i can serve one more customer great mm -hmm. and this has implications beyond i was thinking about it for manual day and has implications both in terms of backward linkages with respect to who is supplying him milk and in terms of forward linkages with respect to credit access to okay capital. digitalization <laughs> fine yes, this is the one yes, what else uh, sir the second is the interest in entrepreneurship that is rising in the country mm -hmm. and that that being driven by uh, reducing barriers to enter uh say yes. different domains mm -hmm. uh the third thing is with respect to the social uh, improvement on social indicators that we have been seeing especially with respect to water management which is an area which has been lacking uh, for example i know of villages which did not have water connection for the longest time and uh, now even if might if it might be irregular something <coughs> like that is happening so these are the three most important positives uh so the uh pessimism the cause for pessimism and this something that sir also mentioned is that people don't uh, follow rules uh there's lack of civic consciousness mm -hmm. even simple rules people uh and this this also a cliche okay, they don't yes, follow rules that yes, is one yes mm -hmm. sir uh so uh, the second aspect is uh again sir asked about it is corruption corruption despite all the efforts is still prevalent so these are uh, the two biggest the, reasons for the pessimism. growing uh, conflict in this society doesn't bother you yes sir sir it it is also uh, bothering but i think that it has been amplified by social media sir uh, so uh, vs naipaul said that india has always been a land of a million mutinies and that all, there's always something or the other that is happening and the beauty of india He is that million mutinies not not a billion million mutinies yes okay. sir mm -hmm. and the beauty of india is that despite all this it finds a way to sort of work together and move ahead and i think that the present time is also i choose to look at the fact the present time is great also. thank you thank you sir well mr kush motwani uh wish naipaul also called india an area of darkness yes sir. why did he do that 
sir uh, this because he had certain expectations when he came to india and uh, what he saw Did with you read his book in no, sir, i am not i have not read the entire book all right so then you can only get yes, then you can only so i read about the book so, yes, so sorry i have not read the book it's a worth read yes, now sir. you mentioned that your mother tongue is sindhi yes sir have you ever visited sindh no sir would you like to visit sindh sir i would like to visit can you name five cities in sindh where you would like to go sir multan Multan is not in Sindh. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I would uh, have to name one city in Sindh. Nawab Shah. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Karachi. All right. Yes, sir. I don't know about other cities. Shikarpur. Yes, sir. Sakhar. Yes, sir. Larkana. I have heard of Hyderabad. Mm-hmm. Hyderabad. Yes, sir. All right. Now, uh, who is our High Commissioner in Pakistan? Sir, I, sorry, sir. I don't know. Do we have ambassador level relations with Pakistan? Uh, sir, I'm not sure. It's something you don't that follow. Sir, I, uh, sir, I do follow, but not something that I can recollect. All point. right. No. I'm sorry. There's an economic crisis in Pakistan. Yes, sir. Can you give me the update on that? Because Pakistan wanted money from the IMF. Yes, sir. What is the present situation? so the present situation in terms of inflation is the inflation last count is 29% and it is increasing uh, their fiscal deficit is high imf has set set certain conditions with respect to austerity and so on and they are they they are incrementally saying that we'll agree to all of them but there's still not consensus consensus between imf and pakistan on how much they'll agree to. so ha- is a consensus around the corner something has happened yes, some sir. development has yes, been sir. reported in the papers yes, sir. what's that Pakistan has get got yes, a million a billion yes sir in a deposit is going to get from which country so obviously you have read the paper sir i i am not all right now what do you understand by pakistan's deep state uh, sir it refers to broadly the army which is it and that's because uh, it's called deep state because it's actually sort of uh, playing the role playing state like actions without actually being uh the state with respect to legislation with respect to how their policy is going to be who has the pakistan army who is their army chief you don't know sir i'm not able to remember the name what is the deep state's policy towards india yes sir uh, so the deep state's policy towards india is uh sort of with respect to multiple things one is using terrorism as a uh, state policy uh, especially to create uh, specifically with respect to create unrest the second is in terms of uh, economic aspects uh, using certain routes along the border so using using the border border porous border for uh, smuggling of arms or smuggling of uh, drugs and so on and the third aspect is uh, say with respect to the perception battle uh trying to portray a picture which which shows yes sir the main plank of the deep state's policy towards india is to carry out proxy warfare yes sir in other words cross border terrorism yes sir can you name some instances of such cross border terrorism big incidents uh, yes sir major terrorist attacks yes sir uh sir the uh, uri incident the pulwama incident these are recent apart from that uh, before that we have had a series of incidents in uh, kashmir apart from that even before that the parliament attack and then uh, the bombay uh, attack okay. the mumbai terror i thought you would name it first because you you yes, from a family in mumbai yes, now which pakistani terrorist organization carried out the mumbai terror attack? Sir. You were born in '94, so you would have been what 14 years old. Yes, sir. You would have been aware of. Yes, sir. Who <gasps> carried it out? <sighs> sir, I'm not. Uh, You're not able to recall. I'm not able to recall the name. I'm sorry. All right, no. You've done a course in mountaineering yes, at uh, Manali. Yes, sir. Uh, in mountaineering, we have a term Sherpa. You know, yes, all sir. mountaineers going up to the Everest have a Sherpa. What's a Sherpa? the sherpa is someone who aids uh, in the process of mountaineering it is uh, it is typically like if as you said uh, for people who want to climb the mount, mount everest uh, there is a someone who is an expert and they typically based in nepal 
they aid the climbing with respect to not only right. carrying now, the... In the yes, context of the G20, yes, I was coming to that, yes. we use the term Sherpa. Uh, Amitabh Khan is India's Sherpa yes, for the G20. What does that mean? Sir, it refers to uh, the dialogue that uh, Amitabh Khan sir would undertake with respect to setting the agenda, uh, making sure that the views of the different partners are aligned before the summit level interactions take place. Uh, Kush actually, a Sherpa in actual mountaineering assists the main mountaineer to go to the top, correct? Right? Like Sherpa Tenzing Norway assisted Sir Edmund Hillary to reach the mountain top. Yes. So likewise, in the G20 context, the Sherpa would be assisting uh, the uh, head of state, the prime minister yes, in our country, yes, or sir. the heads of delegations yes, to reach the summit. So it's an yes, important sir. role. Yes. Sir. All right. Now, are you following the G20 working group meetings? Have there been some meetings, for instance, in Mumbai, your home city? I'm you not, don't follow. I'm not sure. About You're now that. living in Haryana. Yes. Sir. Have there been any meetings in Haryana? Sorry. Sir. You're not following. Okay. Now. Tell me, there is an organization of which India as a member, it's called the I2U2. Yes, What's sir. that? Uh, sir, it's, uh, the, there are four countries, India, Israel, UAE and USA. Mm -hmm. The idea is, it's often been referred to in the news as sort of the new world. So the idea is to work with respect to, uh, they have a six pillar well, agenda. Well, yes, Saudi Arabian scholar said that yes, it sir. is the, um, and West Asian Court. Yes, sir. But do you really subscribe to that? Does it have the sort of contours which Court has? No, sir. Uh, and this is also evident from their six. They have, I think, six I major items of agenda, and none of that are like world like. Uh, they're mostly related to uh, economic aspect or say management. How can Israel and UAE be part of a security arrangement? They have just about normalized relations. Yes, Can you tell me some of the other Arab countries which have normalized relations with Israel? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Morocco uh, has done it. Uh, Saudi Arabia has done it. That's, that, that's the sort of thing I want to do. Yeah. Saudi Arabia has not normalized. Yes, Where did you bring in Saudi Arabia? Which was the first um, Arab country to normalize? So it was UAE. If, uh, now, in the it happened in 1979. Yes, sir. It was called the Camp David Accord. Yes, sir. Who, which country? Uh, you haven't followed. I'm sorry, sir. I haven't followed. All right, now let's come back to your mountaineering for my last question. You did your mountaineering course at the Atal Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Mountain. Yes, sir. He was the Prime Minister of India. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the Prime Ministers of India since independence and till Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee? Who was the first? Uh, sir, uh, Pandit Nehru. Uh, okay, sir. then? Sir, Lal Bahadur Shastri. Yes. Indira Gandhi. Good. Uh, then I believe would, it would have been uh, Murarji Desai. Correct. Indira Gandhi. Well, somebody before Indira Gandhi again became. After Murarji Bhai. Sorry, sir. Uh, then uh, after that, this was Charan Singh, Chaudhary Charan yes, Singh. Then Indira Gandhi. Yes, sir. Then? Rajiv Gandhi. Okay. Uh, VP Singh. Uh, I want to know whether you follow the history of your country. Yes, sir. Uh, so then, after VP Singh, this one, uh, I would come. I would be able to recollect that. And after that, Narsema, uh, VP Narsema Rao. After that, uh, well, Atal Bihari Bajpayee yes, became sir. for thirteen days. Then. Yes, sir. And then after that, uh, after Atal Bihari she, for thirteen yes, day Prime yes, Minister. Yes, sir. Then. You need to take yes, a look sir. at there were two, you, you yes, need sir. to take a broad look at yes, all these things. Yes, Thank sir. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Kush. You, Our discussion with you is over. Yes, sir. Kindly wait outside for a few minutes. Yes, we'll call you for a feedback. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.